viewers, welcome to Regina Aura. This demo section is broken into two parts. Firstly, I'm going to be showing you how to unplug a plugin database from a container database. And then secondly, I'm going to be showing you how to plug in the unplugged plugin database into the container database. Okay, um, before we go on, um, for you to understand this demo properly, um, you need to understand the multi-tenant architecture and how it works, okay? Okay, so um, the first demo is talking about unplugging a plugin database. When you want to unplug a plugin database from your container database or say your CDB, that means you must have them plugged in. So I'm just going to take you around what I have and then we can start our demo. Okay, I have, um, I have two plugin databases. I had to take it through my TNS name, so you see that um, my plugin databases are actually registered. Um, okay, so I have um, two plugin databases plugged into um, this container database um, called or OROCL. So I have um, PDB2 and PDB3. Okay, so for us to start our demo, I'm going to show you how to unplug PDB2. Now, um, the tool we're going to be using for this demo is the BCA. But before you start unplugging your plugin database, you have to ensure that the database is not up and running. That means your plugin database um, must be closed. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. So, say if I had, um, turned on my plugin database, um, let me just um, do that from another tab so you see how that works. Okay. As I mean, I want to go in as the PDB2 and work with. Let's just see if this database is up and running. Okay. So you can see this database is mounted. I'm going to be going ahead to um, DBCA. Okay, so we we'll just call up DBCA like that. Okay, um, our TBC is on. Uh, before we start our demo, um, let me just quickly point out that um, there are several reasons why you would want to um, unplug your database from the current um, CDB. Um, it, let me say, for example, if you want to transport your plug database, you want to transport your plug database from this current CDB to another CDB, okay, there is a lot that has to do with compatibility check. I explained um, more of that um, um, on my blog, so you can go over there and see how that works. Okay, this is that um, page of our TBCA. Um, for this demo, we're going to be focusing on managing plug databases. Okay, and then click on next. On this part is where we need to select an operation that we want to perform. Um, in our container database, what we want to do here is to unplug a plug in database, okay? And then I'll click on next. Okay, this part is for us to um, select the container database um, from that we want to unplug the plug in database from. Okay, for me, I have just one container database on the server. Say for you, you have more than one, you would have to select. Um, the container database that you have your plugin database plugged into, okay. And then, so I'll just click on next. Okay, first the part where you need to choose the plugin database that you want to be unplugged. Okay, um, under this path, when you open the drop down, you would see um, all the plugin database that you have plugged into that container database that you're working with. Okay, so um, at the beginning of this demo, I told you I would be unplugging PDB two. Okay, and then I'll just um, click on that. Okay, um, this path is um, where you need to generate your plugin database archive. Okay, let me also explain here that um, when you're unplugging your plugin database, it's not the same at all as deleting it. So, if for example, the storage system for your um, content database is file system, it is easier to generate a plugin database archive. But if you're using, say, um, ASM as your storage system, then you can generate plugin database file set. But I'm just going to be using generate the plugin database archive. Now this is going to generate an archive that we're going to be using later on. Okay, and then I'll click on next. 
Okay, so this is the unplug um, summary. Okay, and then you can see the content database where I was here and the name of the plug database we want to unplug. Now, it's very important for us to um, be familiar with this location where we have our database um, templates stored into. Okay, because we'll be using it for our next demo. Okay, so I will just finish this. The beauty of using DBCA to unplug a plug database as, as to using SQL Plus um, is that DBCA is actually going to check. Okay, let's go over the activity log so that I can show you that. Um, say at the point you wanted to start this and you did not um, close your plug database, DBCA is going to help you mount. Make sure your plug database is closed first before it starts on plugging. Okay, our plug database PDB2 has been unplugged successfully. And then to close this, and um, we'll try to connect to that plug database that has been unplugged and generate our error message. Okay, um, so you can see that TNS listener does not currently know of the service because it has been unplugged. For this second demo, I'm going to be showing you a scenario where you want to plug in. Um, the PDB2 that was unplugged for more sale into another database called prod. Okay, so I I have another database called prod and um, We are going to be Working with this database for the first scenario. Okay, so um, Let's go over our DBC again, then we'll use this tool to do that Okay, our DBC is up. Um, we'll be using Manage Plug Databases again, and um, then click on Next. Um, on this path, we just finished unplugging a plug database. Um, now we would not be seeing the plug in plug database. Plug in plug database is the same as creating a plug database. Okay, so we just create a plug database, and then I will show you the difference as we go on. Okay, on this part, you can see the two container databases that we have, Oral CL and Prod. Now, um, for this scenario, like I said, we'll be plugging in um, PDB2 into another container database called Prod. So I'm just going to click on Prod and then click on Next. Um, okay, so since um, we will be plugging in an unplugged plugable database, so we are not creating um, a new new pluggable database. We are plugging in a pluggable database where we have plugged out from or our cell, which is PDB2. So we'll be clicking on create pluggable database from PDB archives. Okay, so we have to browse and get to the PDB archive that was used, um, that was created rather when we unplugged um, PDB2. Okay, so uh, when we look at this template, I'm just going to go over. So this is the PDB archive that was created with the oral CL database. So that's what we're going to use here. And then I'll click on OK. I'm just going to click on Next. Okay, now this path is how you want to identify the pluggable database. For the identification of the pluggable database, um, you can decide to change the name, but it means that we need to go over our TNS name and make sure the name is saved there. Okay, so um, since we are plugging it into prod, I'm just going to have it say prod, um, let me see, PDB prod. Okay, now don't forget that um, the same data you had in ORCL is what you'll be having here a different data. What this means is that you are just transporting, you are moving the pluggable database from oral CL to another database called prod. Okay. Um, if you are doing this on SQL, you will need to go over some compatibility check, uh, say if the databases are compatible to do this. Okay. But I'm doing this freely because I'm working on the same server and the databases are compatible. Okay. I'm going to uncheck this create as a clone and then I'm going to specify common location. Okay, now for this now, it's going to be saved under APPRL data prod database and then to give it a name here as PDB prod. Next. 
finish okay our pdb prod has been plugged in successfully to our prod database okay now the next thing we're going to be doing because we add a change of name there it's um registering the pdb prod in our tns name and then try connecting to see how that works okay There is okay, that's loaded. I hope this was very informative. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any concerns about this demo, you can drop your comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for viewing.